Hey guys, Roman here with Mirror Safety. Today I'm here to talk about the Geiger 2 radiation detector and dosimeter combo. We're going deep on this one and we'll go over all of its use cases, features, benefits. Stay tuned. The Geiger 2 is our second generation radiation detector. We've added a ton of new features and completely changed the housing to be more water resistant. In addition to giving you a spot reading on how much ionizing radiation is present, we'll also give you dosage information for up to 30 days and offer a whole host of other benefits. So you might be wondering, why would I need such a device? Well, picture this, you're in a major city and you hear a loud explosion outside. As you look out the window, you see smoke and hear the first responders. What do you do? How do you know if it's safe to go outside to evacuate or should you shelter in place? In a nutshell, a device like this will give you critical information during an emergency situation. If you're unlucky enough to get caught in the thick of it, it will tell you how much radiation you've been exposed to, which would be extremely helpful for medical professionals looking to treat you. Aside from that, you can use this device to monitor day-to-day -day radiation levels as part of your normal life. You can monitor radiation at work, while you fly, or while you visit your friends at Pripyat. Now, let's talk about the Geiger 2's physical characteristics. As you can see, it's highly compact and weighs under 100 grams, uh, to be more specific, 75, making it highly portable and easy to add to your backpack, purse, or EDC kit. There's a rubberized bumper around the Geiger 2 for added impact resistance. Aside from making the device more rugged, this feature makes the Geiger 2 more water resistant with an ingress protection rating of 6.6. It takes just two hours to get it to a full charge, and it has an internal battery that you can charge with a USB-C cord or the built-in solar panel. So, how does it work? The Geiger 2 works under the principle of detecting the electric charge of ionizing radiation as it passes through a gas-filled Geiger Mueller tube. The number of pulses per second measures the intensity of the radiation field. Our detector can pick up ionizing radiation from zero to 999 microsieverts per hour. Here we have a sample of naturally occurring radioactive uranium ore to demonstrate how the Geiger 2 is used to monitor ambient radiation levels. First, you turn it on by pressing the left button with the circle on it. Once it's on, the first menu you will see is ambient radiation. As you can see, as I bring the sample closer to the device, it's gonna start picking up the levels and it's gonna go from yellow, which indicates elevated radiation levels to now red, which indicates uh, much higher radiation levels uh, and dangerous radiation levels. So if you're ever out and about and you see your Geiger counter jump to red, uh, more than likely that is not a safe area to be in and you should leave immediately. The way it works is there are six different main menus, which you can scroll through with the right and left buttons here. And then each of the menus also has a sub-menu function or a change that you can make. And the way to access that is by clicking the triangle and holding it down. Uh, the sub-menu for the main menu is a flashlight. Now this flashlight isn't that bright, uh, but in an emergency situation, it will help you illuminate your surroundings so you can uh, do what you need to do. To turn the flashlight off, you just simply hold down the button again, and it turns off. Second menu for accumulated dose, when you go deeper into it by holding down the triangle, you're gonna see a whole bunch of settings here. So you can set up your daily limit, and once your daily limit is met, your device will inform you that that has been met um, by an indication on the main menu screen. And you could also set your averaging, which is a very important feature of this device. Uh, what averaging allows you to do is set the sensitivity of the Geiger counter. Now, as you go uh, lower on the average, uh, it is constantly changing because you're always, uh, it's, it's picking up more and more ionizing radiation. And uh, the result will be, it will be more sensitive to picking up ionizing radiation because it's giving you the average of, let's say five or 10 seconds. So it would be perfect for detecting radiation quickly as you scan around an area because it's taking an average of a shorter period of time. Uh, when you raise it to 60 seconds, it is giving you the average of 60 seconds, so it goes up slower. Um, the, the good thing is when you raise the average, it will give you a more accurate reading over time. Next menu is the statistics menu. If you go deeper into the statistics menu, you're gonna see a few little symbols here. Uh, so the up arrow with the number next to it, that indicates your 
highest amount of radiation exposed during the day. Uh, the second indication here with the person uh, indicates the total amount for the day and your dose for the last 30 days as well. And you can go day to day and check your statistics and see all of the statistics all in one place. All right, so the fourth menu here is the date and time. In order to set the date and time, this is very important to set once you first receive your Geiger because the dosage information on the previous screen will depend on the time and date. So to go deeper in, once again, you press the triangle and you have hours, minutes, day, month, and year. In order to set it, you press the triangle once again and hold it down, set it however you'd like, and go back with the circle. So this is the energy menu here. Um, you will see how much solar is coming into the device uh, along with what its current charge is. So if you wanna go deeper into this menu system here, once again, you hold down the triangle and you can see the sleep mode. And this is basically a backlight timeout. Uh, so right now it's set to 90 for the purposes of this video, uh, but you can set it up to 10 seconds or 20 seconds uh, just to lower uh, the amount of energy uh, it consumes so you can use it for longer periods of time. All right, and then the last menu is the setting. So in order to go deeper into this one, you once again hold down the triangle and you can set the units here. So the units of measurement are micro sieverts per hour, uh, but you could also set to CPM, which is clicks per minute, or micro rengens per hour. I personally prefer micro sieverts per hour, so we're gonna go back. Now you could also turn the sound indication on and off. Um, if I were to turn it on, I would just hold the triangle once again. It's on. Every time you get close to a radioactive source, uh, not only are you gonna see it visually, but you're also gonna hear it as well. Okay, next menu item here is uh, the light indication. Now this is the indication over here. So if you turn it off, it will no longer indicate radiation levels with light. Um, you turn it on, it will. And the next is a factory reset. So if in case um, you want to wipe the device clean, you're selling it, giving it to somebody else, and you want them to kind of start from scratch with all the data, you would go into this menu, press reset, and uh, it's good as new. So one common question that we receive is, do I need one of these devices for every member of our group? And now while it's not critical to have, it is highly recommended uh, just because the amount of radiation that each and every person in your group is exposed to can differ depending on what you've touched or where you've been. Uh, so it is highly recommended for every person in your group to have one, although not critical. Another question we commonly get is, will this detect radiation in water and food? And the answer is yes, uh, so long as it is emitting uh, beta and gamma radiation. This device does not pick up alpha radiation. Uh, so as long as it's emitting beta and gamma, which are quite common in uh, nuclear emergencies, it will pick up radiation in water and food. So there you have it, guys. Uh, we believe that the Mira Safety Geiger 2 dosimeter is a critical tool to have in your emergency kit. The information it provides is important for how you should plan and respond to these types of events. If you know what threats are present, this can inform you on what to do. So grab your CBRN filters, your mask, your hazmat suit, your mop suit, gear up and be prepared. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.